Hello everyone, I am Teacher Eds. For today's lesson, I am going to be your buddy. Before we start our discussion, let me remind you of some internet etiquette that we need to follow inside our online class. Always be on time. Mute your microphone when it's not your turn to talk. If you have questions, use the chat box for the teacher to note it. Open your microphone only when your teacher told you to do so. Give your full attention. Respect the teacher by listening attentively. Do not visit other websites or chat your classmates. Stay seated and give your full attention to the lesson. Get properly dressed. Make sure that you look presentable whenever you are in an online class. Do not leave the conference room without the teacher's permission. Okay, let's have a review by playing a game. Directions Estimate the product by rounding each number to the nearest 10 and 100, then multiply. Are you ready, kids? Alright. Let's have another game. Directions will be shown a calculation. Hit the button that shows the correct answer. Are you ready? Okay, let's start.
Now class, our topic for today is Multiplying mentally 2 digit by 1 to 2 digit numbers with products up to 200 and explains the strategies used. Suppose that we have this situation. Each class in grade 4 has 34 pupils. How many pupils are there if there are 12 classes? What is your answer? How did you get your answer? Okay. Let us solve 34 times 12. There are several ways in solving math problems mentally. On this lesson, I am going to share to you the two methods in solving math problems mentally. Method number one. Step one. Multiply the multiplicand by the ones in the multiplier. So on this example, the multiplicand is 34 and we are going to multiply it by the ones in the multiplier which is 2. So 34 times 2 is equal to 68. Step 2. Multiply the multiplicand by the tens in the multiplier. So we are going to multiply 34 by the tens in the multiplier which is 10. 34 times 10 is equal to 340. Step 3. Add the partial products. 68 plus 340 is equal to 408. Let's proceed to method number 2. You can use the distributive property to get the product mentally. 34 times 12. So we are going to multiply 34 by the tens and ones of the multiplier, which is 10 and 2. 34 times 10 plus 34 times 2. 34 times 10 is equal to 340. 34 times 2 is equal to 68. So 340 plus 68 is equal to 408. Therefore, there are 408 pupils. Let's have another example. There are 15 seats in each row of the concert hall. How many seats are there if there are 13 rows? Method 1 Step 1. Multiply the multiplicand by the 1's digit in the multiplier. So we multiply 15, which is the multiplicand, and 3, which is the 1's digit in the multiplier. 15 times 3 is equal to 45. Step 2. Multiply the multiplicand by the tens digit in the multiplier. 15 is being multiplied by the tens digit of the multiplier, which is 10. 15 times 10 is equal to 150. Step 3. Add the partial products. 45 plus 150 is equal to 195. Method number 2. You can use the distributive property to get the product mentally. 15 times 13 is equal to 15 being multiplied by tens and ones of the multiplier, which is 10 and 3. 15 times 10 plus 15 times 3. 15 times 10 is equal to 150 and 15 times 3 is equal to 45. 100 plus 45 is equal to 195. Try to answer this mentally. 
I will give you 10 seconds to answer. 18 times 10. Your timer starts now. The answer is 180. 86 times 2. The answer is 172. 64 times 3. The answer is 192. 12 times 12. The answer is 144. 18 times 11. The answer is 198. Class, remember that the position of the factors does not affect the answer because of the commutative property of multiplication. In multiplying mentally, multiply first the 1's digit and then the 10's digit without using paper and pencil. Find the product mentally. A box contains 12 pieces of chocolates. Mother bought 13 boxes. How many pieces of chocolates were bought? There are 156 pieces of chocolate. A zebra has 78 stripes. How many stripes are there on two zebras? There are 156 stripes. Each class in a school has 14 reading books. If there are 12 classes in this school, how many reading books are there in all? There are 168 reading books. Alvin shared his guavas with his 12 friends. If each of his friends received 10 guavas, how many guavas did Alvin share in all? The answer is 120 guavas. A pile contains 16 books. How many books are there in 11 piles? There are 176 books. Thanks for watching. Remember to review this video for the enhancement of your learning. See you next time. Goodbye.